Hey everybody, uh, it's been a while since I did a video. Uh, those of you that have watched some of my videos on YouTube and about my testimony and, and uh, some of the things that God has done in my life and through my life and brought me through uh, so much. Uh, anyway, I was going to do a video today about the day that I died. And uh, I'm going to have to take you guys back to when I was a young man about, oh, I believe I was 21 years old. So it's 20 some odd years ago, almost 30 now. <laughs> but, but anyway, uh, let me see if I can get that sun out of my eyes. Hmm. Oh, well, you, you can still see me. But uh, anyway, so I'm going to go back to that ministry. And uh, I was at that school of evangelism. And I really learned about God and how much He loved me and how that He gave His Son for me uh, to not only take sin out of the way, but to replace uh, the works of sin with righteousness and so that I could walk in the newness of life with my faith grounded and settled in the Son of God, Jesus Christ. So, I'm at that ministry, and, and I'm learning about repentance, you know, which, which is changing your mind. And, uh, and and I did. I changed my mind about what I had become and what my life was about and, and what life really was. And, and I accepted the life of Jesus Christ. And uh, what I did is uh, like everybody else, uh, I had to get over. Like everybody else, uh, I did that at the waters of baptism, and uh, well, everybody that has put on Christ uh, has been baptized into His death, and uh, it, 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 there's so much to the cross. I, I mean, I don't care if you're a little bitty baby Christian, just just coming coming to the faith in Jesus Christ or you're you're an old veteran or, or so to speak uh, you've, you've been growing in grace for a while now okay uh, the cross the knowledge of the cross is just so deep and what was done there and I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about a little bit about that today and uh, what has happened in my life through the cross through the cross of Calvary but uh, anyway, so I decided uh, I was going to give my life to God. And uh, so I was at that school of evangelism at, at ministry. And uh, the board of directors uh, decided I needed to get baptized. That, that's what the scripture says. So uh, I, need to, I need to go down and, and give my life to the Lord. And, uh, you know, that scripture says, Know you not that so many of you that have been baptized into Christ have been baptized into his death. Uh, there's another scripture. Uh, I have been crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, but Christ that liveth in me. And the life that I now live, I live by the faith of the Son of God. And uh, anyway, and there, there's many scriptures about being born again. You know, you can't enter into the kingdom of heaven unless you're born again. And uh, which, by the way, the kingdom of heaven is Jesus Christ. The kingdom of heaven is Jesus Christ. When, when uh, he was talking to his disciples, Jesus, and uh, he got a little child, and he took that little child, and that little child was hugging him and loving on him and stuff, and he said, Verily I say unto you, except you receive the kingdom of heaven, or he may, uh, the kingdom of God, like, like this little child, you can in no ways enter therein. He was talking about himself. He was showing his disciples, hey, it if you can receive me, Jesus, as a, this little child is receiving me with just love and faith and grace, then you can in no wise enter into me. That's, that's what he was saying. Uh, or, you know that scripture everybody likes to quote, uh, you know, where it says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God, and all these things shall be added unto you. And he's talking about clothing and food and, 
and uh, things that everybody seeks for. He was saying, seek first me. Come, come to me. Come into me. And I and you. And all these things should be added unto you. He's the one who clothes us. Oh, yeah. But anyway, so I go, I go down to the uh, waters of baptism. And I'm in a river. Uh, I didn't get baptized in a sanctuary. I got baptized in a river. A cold, ice-cold river in Arkansas. And uh, the board of directors uh, got, in the, got in that water, and he was waiting for me to get out and step out in the water. And uh, a lot of people were there. All my brothers and sisters in the Lord, uh, my natural brother, and uh, my sister, too. And uh, a lot of neighbors, uh, friends. They wanted to watch this heathen give his life to God. And uh, anyway, I'm going to talk about what I saw that day. And it's puzzled me for years. And you can believe me or not, uh, I, my life is just, it, God never ceases to amaze me, okay? I believe in God with all my heart, and I have received His Son, Jesus Christ. I am a, I live through Him, okay? I'm not just some wishy-washy Christian. I believe this stuff. I live it. I love God, and I love what Jesus has done for me. And I, I, let me explain. The day that I died, okay? Uh, I went into them, them, that, that river, and uh, the board of directors was in that river, and he said some words over me. And uh, he, he asked me if, uh, if I believed that Jesus Christ was the Son of God. And if I, be, and I believe that Jesus gave himself for me so that I may live. And I was like, yes, yes, I, I do. I believe with all my heart. And then he said, well, you know, something along the lines of be baptized and be born again. I, I can't remember exactly what he said. It was 20-some-odd years ago. But uh, he dunked me in that water. And when I came up, this is what I saw. I, this is what I saw, okay? And uh, I saw myself float down the river, face up, dead as a doornail. Just, just dead as a doornail. It kind of freaked me out. And uh, I looked at the board of directors as to say, did you see that? Did you see me? Did you see that? And I looked around on the riverbank at all my brothers and sisters in the Lord and my friends and neighbors and to see if uh, they were looking at the same thing I was looking at. And uh, evidently not, you know, because I was just in awe. And, and I felt myself and I didn't feel any different. But I was, I was so happy that I felt clean. I felt born again. I felt like everything had been started over. And I watched myself, I watched a, a literal carcass of myself float down the river until it was out of my sight. Now, you can believe me or not, but that's what happened. I mean, I, I'm only telling you what God allowed me to see. And... This happens really to everyone that truly gives their heart to Jesus Christ and, is, and accepts life over death, okay? You're born again. Uh, I, I just, God allowed me to see it, that, that's all. I mean, I, I'm nothing, uh, I don't think I'm crazy. I don't tell a whole lot of people this stuff, although I am now. So you can think I'm crazy if, if you want to, but uh, I don't care. Uh, they thought Paul was crazy, which is my favorite apostle in the Bible. By the way, he, re he wrote most of the New Testament. And uh, the apostle Paul talked about water baptism a lot. And, uh, you know, he would use scriptures like, uh, I have been crucified with Christ, nevertheless I live, yet not I, the Christ that liveth in me. And the, not, the life that I now live I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. And, uh, look, I know what took place there. It's, it was death. It was, a, it was death and a rebirth. And it was a doing away with and an indwelling, a feeling, if you will, feeling up. And uh, Jesus, Jesus said, used this parable. He said, No man taketh a new cloth, and sew it to a new garment 
you know, trying to trying to repair a, a rip in the garment. For the for the garment is made worse. That the new cloth takes up the old and the rent is made worse. And he also said, No man pours new wine into an old wineskin, at least the bottle burst. And he says, But men pour new wine into a new uh, bottle, a new wine skin, and both are preserved. And uh, look, I hope I have, to, I'm going to have to do two videos. So if uh, you want to watch the uh, next video, I will explain what took place that day. And uh, 20 some odd years later, this past year, the Lord has been showing me what I saw. And uh, so tune in. Thanks. Part two coming up.